Season one was plagued with a lot of rage quits. Come on. <laughs> but when it came down to it, it was time to secure our first Super Bowl ring. We started with a large deficit, but with nine seconds left on the clock and my opponent with no timeouts, we sent a zero blitz. What the Football Bowl game! My fucking nuts are so goddamn big! I'm I manually shot the gap. I risked giving up a touchdown, but we sacked Lamar Jackson. No huddle could save him. Lock expired. And we secured the first Wheel of Mutt ring of Madden 24. Season two was a slug out. We made it to the wild card playoffs and sadly lost the game 32 to 35, extinguishing our chances of a Super Bowl in season two. Season three was a defensive masterclass. Lurk artist Luke Keekley propelled us to an early lead. And one clutch catch from CD Lamb in the fourth quarter sealed our opponent's fate. All right, CD, we haven't used you yet. We'll use you now. And the game. The Bengals beat the Ravens in the Super Bowl. Logos on the field and all to lock up our second Wheel of Up ring of the season. And that leads us to Wheel of Up season four, where we stand today. Our third Super Bowl ring is on the line. Our wild card and NFC championship this season have been absurdly close games. And for the Super Bowl, I had to bring out the Kelly Greens. It's Eagles season, so we had to do it. We are one game away from our third Super Bowl ring. We have to be locked in. Let's take a look at our Super Bowl lineup before we take our two spins for the Super Bowl. Offensive line is honestly very good. The lowest overall is an 88. We got 89s at most positions and 91 Alex Mack as the anchor. I have two of the best tight ends in the game in Rob Gronkowski and Greg Olson. I have the best wide receiver in the game in limited Tyreek kill my backfield is bizarre but they've led us this far and i love it we've got budget beast blitz devon a chan 90 overall aka johnny football and alec ingold at fullback we of course have prestige jamar chase at wide receiver one and we just recently picked up team of the week debo samuel what's crazy about debo samuel is he's actually an 89 overall but if you guys didn't know there's this matthew barry team of the week chemistry boost where this dude matthew barry picks a player every week this week it is debo samuel so if you take a look at my Debo Samuel, he has insane boosts to all of his stats. He's technically a 92 overall right now, which makes him significantly better. That is pure luck, by the way. I didn't pick up that Debo knowing that. Defensively, we are equally star-studded. Every single position has an excellent player at it. Terry Kennard, free safety, Giants team diamond has been an awesome corner, very physical. Sherman's obviously been a stud. Joey Porter Jr. has been great. The D-line is stacked. Big Vince Wilfork got a big man rumble touchdown this season. Prestige Derwin James, looking to get him an upgrade pretty soon here, but he's been great. Justin Simmons with Kair Elam, Paul Krause is the backups. We got three Lurk artists out there, and I could even run four if I wanted to. Josh Allen, Ray Lewis, Derek Brooks, CJ Mosley, uh, and we even have our prestige kicker, Harrison Butker. So this team is almost maxed. Obviously, I want to still upgrade with the wheel spin, but honestly, there's not too much to do. The next amazing thing is when we make the Super Bowl, we get one new prestige player. So one player on this lineup will make it to next season. And lastly, do not forget about the presents. I have collected a few presents on this account already. The first episode of Wheel of Mutt after Christmas, when these presents open, I'll get to open them and add them to my team. That'll actually be on season five. So right now we've got these two lavish presents. We got one that looks like Seahawks and one that's all gold. We've got a gray simple present, probably a legends present. This nice present is. This is a team of the week nice present. This one all red, I really don't know. I don't think they do core elite. So that one's puzzling to me. Maybe most feared. And then one blue simple present. Be able to open all these. All right, boys, we're finally ready for the wheel spins. In the playoffs, I'm only supposed to get two wheel spins. I actually forgot for the last two episodes. No wonder my team is stacked. I'm only going two wheel spins today, but the wheel is juice. The Christmas Super Bowl, boys. Come on, I cannot let you guys down. This is too big of an episode.
The lights are bright. I'm ready to shine. Three times newest promo packs. Newest promo is obviously zero chill. Uh, Kyle Hamilton Limited, Saquon Barkley Limited are in packs. Either of those would be a gigantic upgrade on this team. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The odds are not that great. When Tyree Kill and Fred Warner were in packs, odds were real good. But I think they nerfed them since. We'll take anything we can get here. Probably won't help in the Super Bowl, but we're gonna find out. First one's got Kevin Dotson. And Josh Oliver. I'm gonna quick sell those for training. I am gonna re-roll the training too. I don't normally do that, but it's the Super Bowl episode. So that was 2,240 training right there. Next zero chill pack, Keith Kirkwood. Got a Legends player, Bruce Smith 79. Every time we see that animation, we know it can't be good enough to make the squad. 3,469 training, okay. I haven't pulled either of these limiteds yet. Kyle Hamilton nor Saquon Barkley. If they wanna decide that the time for me to pull it's on Wheel of Mud, I would not be mad. Madison Stevenson, that's our third and final pack and three players we can't use. Luckily, we do make out with enough for 382 plus rerolls. Just looking for the limiteds or a big 93, honestly. Our first one, Jamie Gillen. That's not gonna take us anywhere. Tanner Hudson, you're not gonna... Actually, Tanner Hudson is a slight upgrade at fullback. Although, I won't even be putting him in. I'm not gonna mess with my fullback. Tanner Hudson really wants to be on this team, but I'm not putting him in. Damn, unlucky, boys. Dang, the first wheel spin of the Super Bowl does not help us out much. Limited would have been sick. I think the second wheel spin's gonna come in. Dummy clutch, though. Oh my God. I got this idea from those packs that EA put in the store the other day. It's simple, 88 or 93. Come on, baby. Give me that juicy gambling degeneracy. My house is on 93. Dude, that thing kept going though. That thing just kind of scared me. 93 overall. So I can't get Christmas limiteds, but I can get any of the Christmas set players, which are all 93s. And of course, any other 93 overall player that I want. Let's take a look. Boys, let's be real. Let's be real here, okay? Johnny Football took us all the way here. He took us all the way to the bowl. And I love him for that. But this is Eagles season. I have on a Kelly Green Jalen Hurts jersey. And in the Super Bowl, I'm given the opportunity to add 93 overall, zero chill Jalen Hurts to the squad. This Jalen Hurts, by the way, earlier in the season, I passed on Patrick Mahomes. I said, I don't want Mahomes because Mahomes is slow. Guess what? This Jalen Hurts is the white Johnny football. You heard me correctly. 89 speed for both of them. But Jalen Hurts beats him in every throw category. Jalen Hurts is hot route master. The only difference, Johnny football. Football as escape artist, Jalen Hurts will not get that escape artist. That is a, a unique ability for AKA Johnny Football. I honestly, I don't see any other position I take. I'll take a Jalen Hurts. Oh, dude, I have never done this. This is a first in Wheel of Mutt where I make a significant quarterback change in the Super Bowl. But I think it's gonna pay off. I think we're gonna have a sweat fest here and I'm gonna be very happy to have Hot Route Master on this team. Johnny Football! I wanna thank you for your dedication, your service to the squad and bringing us to the bowl. He gets gift wrapped for free. Hot Route Master is three AP. Gunslinger is two AP. That is the exact same AP we ran on Johnny Football. So it's like nothing changed. I'm gonna give him a run and gun. He basically just made Johnny Football better at throwing and and we gave him hot round mass. That's another way to think about this. So I don't think we did any damage. I think we only could have helped the squad with what we just did. And I'm so happy about it. 8chan still got freight train, 5 AP and run and gun on Jalen Hurts. Tyree kill with double me mid in elite. And we no longer need tight end apprentice on Gronk since we have hot route master, which means if I want to, I can put a different ability on Gronk here. Tight end apprentice is one AP, but mid in elite is also one AP. Instead, we're going to give Gronk mid in elite. Hopefully he comes down with some tough catches. So this helps in two ways. I got a better ability on Gronk and we got Jalen Hurts and I'm wearing the Kelly green and it's Eagle season. I think we're going to be just fine here, boys. All right, gentlemen, that's two wheel spins. The only addition we make to the team today is 93 overall Jalen Hurts at quarterback. Can't say I'm mad about that at all. I'm really excited. Last thing up is the Christmas challenge wheel. Completing the Christmas challenge wheel lets me add one more mystery present to our unopened packs. And of course, those presents will help build our future wheel of mutt team. We're laying the ground floor. We're building roots. And that's it. Dude, this is one of my favorite challenges. This is a dope challenge. One player on my team needs a touchdown, 10 receptions, and 100 yards. That's a lot of receptions. I don't think 100 yards is too hard, and I don't think a touchdown's too hard. But getting on the ball 10 times could be an issue. Can't worry about that now, boys. You see it on your screen. Win the Super Bowl to become a season's champion. Lock the fuck in, and let's go. Best part of the Super Bowl, baby. You get the Super Bowl presentation. In Las Vegas, taking on 
down the Raiders. That is quite the home field advantage. We came all the way from Philly. We're starting with the kick, which makes me so happy. He's got out of position Gilmore as his return man, so he's definitely got a good team. How do we start this Super Bowl? That's the question. Do we start with an excellent defensive stop? Do we start with a turnover? Do we start getting bombed on? No kick returns. That's how I start! Terry Kennard! The free safety playing defensive back. Massive hit. I'm gonna go 3-2 mug to start this game. Tampa 2. He's in strong close. Very easily could be a run play here. And it is. He starts the Super Bowl the L ah! Oh, I just had a stroke! He starts the Super Bowl the same way I would with a run. But big man Will Forks having none of it. I'm gonna go on Ray Lewis. Gotta be a pass now after that pitiful attempt right there. He's gonna go low. I was going for that strip with Justin Simmons. I had that fucking, I had that punch cock. I had that cock punch. Woo! Gun tight doubles. Do we have time? No, great find. He makes a great find right there. Makes a great move too. That Shannon Sharp. Yeah. Hey, we've already got him sweating a little bit. Some good defensive stops. Just gonna go cover three sky here. This definitely could be a run play. Nope. Okay. He's got the corner out. Doesn't take it. Checks low and scary. That's a scary throw. I'm on, I'm on nine. Oh, oh my God, he still threw it. Dude, sometimes people make such a bold throw that you don't get on it. I thought I had that bag, so I didn't think he was gonna throw it. Heaves one deep. That's a bad ball. Is Jalen Hurts just, oh, it's a Jalen Hurts mirror match. But wow, he sailed that. All right, I think he's given up on the run, which I hope is the case so that I can start guessing pass. Oh my fucking God, Matt. Are you kidding me? That is so embarrassing. As I say it, he definitely could run this ball again. Let's get Vince Wilfork in position to just blow it up. He's gonna check down halfback. Go for the punch out. Ooh, I'm getting that. Dude, I'm gonna get a strip fumble today. I can feel it. He's throwing a lot of uh, low check downs. That's just gonna leave these boys open to fumble. Throw the fucking thing. What a ball. I sure what he has here. He throws sketchy. Sherman's sitting there waiting for it. Something similar. Come on. Throw something stupid. Damn it. That was bad. Third and six. Great defense. I really wanted him to throw something sketchy there. Third and six. What's he going to come out in? He's his best play. Gun doubles. Halfback week. I'm going to stay in it. Honestly, we've played this so well so far. I don't think there's any reason to switch it up. I'm not going to guess pass. He's going to dig there. Honestly, that could have gone either way. He could have caught that. I could have caught that. Wow. Hey, that's a huge W, boys. Hold him to three. Hold him to three. We just can't do the same thing ourselves. Let's make sure he doesn't onside kick. He doesn't. Or base kick off. Short kick to Debo Samuel. Oh, I had a window. We get out to the 32. I'm starting this game with my favorite Eagles play. Stretch alert bubble. Jamar Chase is wide open. And I want to make that throw rather than the run because I need receptions, yards, and a touchdown for my challenge week. All right, now we're going to keep him honest with pin pull sweep. Got lots of pull blockers. Where are you going, 66? Go up the fucking field and block the DB right in front of me. Whatever. Honestly, got the first down. Doesn't matter. I'm a little confused on that, though. Is this man coverage? He's on Joey Porter Jr., that ball bonked off a fucking lineman. But I think I can hit Gronk if I get a little bit of time in this one. That or, honestly, I can just throw Devon Achan right there, make this third and two. That's a really nice pickup. I'm going to hand this off. Doesn't have inside stuff. Great blocks. Juke to the right. Achan! Huge play, huge play, huge play. Oh, I'm dicing him up with four verticals right now. I'm going to stay in it. I wonder where he uses here. Is he on Tyree? He's not a- Oh, he's getting there! Oh! I thought that was open and he saw what I saw. I knew he was gonna hand that off. He's gonna try and milk the clock here. I do get ball at half. Somebody get home! Jalen Hurts is sacked. Third and seven. Run bunch tight end. My ball! That's my ball! Damn it! I can't believe I didn't pick that. Doesn't matter. Fourth and seven. We got the stop we needed. I made a huge mistake, but defense made up for it. That's kind of how my Madden games go. A great lurk by him. First and 10 from the 44. A minute 47 ball at half. Superior clock management. I get seven points here with no time left on the clock if I play this perfect. I'm handing off A-chan. I'm hoping we can get to the second level. If my left guard gets a hand on Palomalu, this is an excellent run. Fucking ignored him. 
Hey, it's a six yard run. I don't know what I'm bitching about. I'm gonna go back to stretch alert bubble. This has Tyreek Hill as the bubble man. Okay, you know what's funny? He's using that, but he's not gonna be fast enough to get to Reek. Ooh, they're going for the punch out right there, too. First and 10, very nice play. I would drag my balls through fucking magma just to sniff a fart out of Simi Sweeney's ass. Sorry, she popped up on my Spotify. Second and seven. There's Gronk right in the middle, a floater. What is the clock at? Was the clock not stopped when I was saying all that nonsense? Oh my God, I am not locked in. Let's get locked the fuck in right now, please. I am pulling out a, I am tossing a nuke on this man right now. Third and one. Tyreek! I told him! I told you he's not ready! Reek's got yards, he's got touchdowns. He has two receptions. He might be our challenge wheel guy, but most importantly, we, we are leading 7-3 in the Super Bowl. There's 13 seconds on the clock, and he's got three timeouts. That was some, that was some titanium nuts clock management. I wasn't even trying to do that. 13 seconds on the clock. Let's get a great kick. Let's burn four seconds here. They'll have nine seconds, three timeouts. That would be very difficult to get in field goal range without making a big mistake. And I would love to see him make a big mistake. Oh, smart man. Smart man, he lets it bounce through. We have to cover the boundaries. Okay, we're gonna guess pass here. We're gonna play outside. Let's see what he does. I think he wants Shannon Sharp corner route. No, he blocked Shannon Sharp. He's got a deep... Wait, I was about to say he has nothing. Seven seconds go by. He only... Only thing he could have done there is throw a pick. Terry Kennard with that lockup coverage. Second and ten. Dude, after Tyreek makes a play like that, it makes me want to prestige the man so bad. Play action. He has the left side. He's got nothing. No! Sack! Bruce Smith! And we get extra momentum from that. That's huge. Momentum is so big in games like this. I think momentum might be one of the most slept on things in Madden 24. Like right now, my team has reduced stamina drain during plays. That's crazy. I'm gonna let Debo take this out. Oh, I'm boxed. Just to stack receptions on Tyreek, I wanna throw this bubble. But if his user's over there, I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. This is still crazy good yards, so it doesn't really matter. I need him to respect the run and send his user at it so that I can throw the bubble. That's what I need to happen here. Nope. It's getting good pass rush, but that's a fucking diabolical play, actually. That play is messed up how good it is. I'm gonna come out of it. We need to get Tyree Kill some receptions, and he's not gonna allow it like that. That ball literally just bounced off a lineman and into Tyreek's hands. I don't want to talk about how lucky that was because I don't want to think about that play, so I'm going to call inside zone. Tyreek Hill has another reception now, though. That's what's important. Oh, oh, got past his user. What a fucking run. Oh, his user saw me go. Ow, got his ass. Let's go. Needed that. We can still run option plays. We have Jalen Hurts. Risky business. I'm going read option. This might be a keeper. Depends what the user does. Definitely could have kept that, but it's it's safer to go 8chan if I'm getting five yards anyway. Because Jalen Hurts will fumble and 8chan won't. Don't jinx it, Matt, but I don't think 8chan will. I think we're in man here. Looking for Tyreek Hill on the win. He just shaded outside on Tyreek. But he did not shade outside on Gronk, baby! Oh, you gotta love that, dude. Watching someone make the adjustment. I actually don't like this, so I'm gonna run inside zone. It's the edge, A-chan, great defense. I need to be in like a, I need a two stack. I need two on the right and two on the left. This way I can go to Gronk if he's there. I can go to Debo if he's there. I can go to Reek if he's there. I can go to A-chan. Lots of options here. Sit in the plot. Sit in the pocket, Colleen got lit up by b Dog. But that's third inches. This is a nasty play actually. Cause it's gonna look like it's going right side with the motion. Oh, I didn't mean to keep that. But Jalen gets it and hangs on! Dude, I meant to fucking hand that off. Oh my God. Jalen Hurts, you're a dog. Why lead read option in the bowl? I'm letting that go to the quarter. Actually, no, I'm gonna run this. Pin pull sweep looks really good here. I'm running it. He sees it, I gotta cut this back. It looked good, it wasn't good. Second and 12. I have not reached in my bag of pass plays really at all today. The one dot we threw was Tariq and that was it. He's he's up in man coverage blitzes. I think it's time to show him what Tyreek Hill can do. So we think this is zone, right? I want him to take A-chan. Do you remember earlier in the game when I said sometimes a throw is so fucking stupid that you can't fathom someone throwing it so you can't lurk it? That is the textbook example. That was the stupidest shit I have ever thrown. Gronk, get up! Touchdown! 
Let's go! Holy shit, I just threw a fucking airmail. That should have been picked, but I threw to Reek. He literally didn't hold Y. Because in his head, he goes, okay, I bagged this. 12 plays, 83 yards, 4 minutes, 30 seconds. I didn't even have two clock on. That was just a tough, difficult, arduous drive to take a two-possession lead with 3 minutes, 26 seconds left in the bowl. I cannot believe I threw that fucking shit. Dude, when you get to the bowl, your brain just shuts off, man. I tell you what, it's, it's so nerve-wracking. First and 10. Big hit! Josh Allen, Ray Lewis. He has some rare cards on this team. He's got the Irvin and the Hurts. He's gonna go 84, right? No, now we'll check down halfback. Yep. Oh! Keep that clock ticking. This defense is great. I don't think I can really give up any one-play bombs on this defense, so this is exactly what we need here. Oh, get off that block. I like the, I like the effort, Elan. I like the effort. Dude, that's smart, though. He gets out of bounds there. That's the first time he's been able to do that. Over the top. He wants a corner route. He wants 84s. Oh, what a good play. I thought for sure that was a corner route trying to get to the boundary. Play action. He's got 80. Oh, he's got nothing because he's bagged by Bruce Smith. Second and 10. Do we do we surprise him? Do we surprise him with a blitz now? I'm going to try it. This is so risky, but I'm sending it. I'm going to use her Sherman. Oh, no way he made that throw. You dog. And he's gonna let himself get, oh, two minute warning. Okay, actually, no, that was that was stupid. You get out of bounds there, then your next play, you get the two minute warning. That was a big mistake he just made. He's not fully relying on the onside kick yet, but it just depends how quickly he can score now. That was a big mistake. Does he go corner out now? No, but he has this and I'm behind it. Gotta get there, Joey Porter. You don't know how big that tackle is. You know how much, you know how many seconds go off because of that? That's huge. Oh, he called a timeout. He's forced to use a timeout. Does he run it? Does he run it? No. Pass. Low. Cut. Tackled. Clock's ticking. We're blitzing. He's nervous. I'm on 88. Get there. Broke it up. Josh Allen. Talk to him. Third and goal. Back. Back. Suck his neck. Look his balls. You're right there. Fourth and goal. Does he run it? I don't think he has the fucking nuts. Fourth and goal. With the tackle of the century! That JPJ tackle kept him at the one, and he got bagged. Play after play after... Ah! Four plays from the one in the bowl. <laughs> Let's go! Boys, there are so many things to talk about now. Holy shit. Hey, Jalen Hurts, excellent game. You made it work. GG's to my opponent. Hell of a ball game. Let up zero touchdowns in the Super Bowl. Defensive masterclass. Can I also just say, we let up zero touchdowns in the Super Bowl on an off-meta defense. I do want to talk about that, okay? I would like to bet every single dollar in my bank account that none of your favorite pro Madden players are running Philadelphia Eagles defense because it's dog shit. And we bagged with it. Let's go, baby. Okay, a few huge things to talk about. Number one, we we will get a rage wheel spin at the start of next season. Number two, I don't think I earned the challenge wheel. I don't think Tyree Kill was close enough. So the presents that we will have after Christmas, which that video will probably post on the 27th or 29th, will be these ones right here. The blue simple, red, silver, blue, silver, Seahawks looking one, and the all gold one. Those will be the presents we get. Also, we get this. When you win the Super Bowl, you get a three times trophy pack bundle and you get a red zone pack. I'm gonna open those too. So we're gonna have a really nice kickstart at the next wheel of but for really all the amazing stuff that we did this season, which is so incredible. And the final thing, and probably the most important thing, is our prestige player. I mean, we'll have to see, right? Like, you know, technically there could be like a 95 Jordan Mylata drops and then that changes everything. But right now, to me, it's either Tyree Kill or it's Ray Lewis. Both are excellent options. I think Tyree Kill probably gets better cards down the line sooner, but then I'm prestiging two wide receivers. It's kind of weird to prestige two wide receivers. It's a little... It's a little top heavy. Boys, that was an incredible, incredible Super Bowl. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had an absolute blast recording this and I don't think that could have gone better. I can't wait to see you guys in the season five opener. Season five opener will be on the 20th. I believe. So you'll have an episode on the 20th. You'll have another one on the 23rd. And then on Christmas Day, you'll get the Christmas special. And then after Christmas, I'll open those presents. We also have all three of those episodes to collect more presents. Like I'm not done collecting presents yet. That's just what we have right now. You'll see a new team next episode. I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Three rings, bitch. I'm coming for you, Tom. All right, boys. Love y'all. Peace.